Hello, hello. Um, it's Christine, obviously. It's 12.30, and I am just uh, delighted to be back doing a Facebook Live here. Um, it's been a couple weeks. I've just been, things have been a little kooky, but um, <laughs> I'm so glad to be back, and I have something really, really cool I'm excited to talk to you about. So um, if I look, actually, I think I, I actually feel pretty calm, but like as life would have it. Um, I've been super excited getting ready to do this Facebook Live today, and of course, um, my baby Violet, she's not a baby, she's six, but she's sick. <laughs> so if she crashes, the big question to me is whether she's going to crash this broadcast and join us. I mean, who knows? That could actually be kind of awesome. So um, today I wanted to talk about food, which is something hopefully you love. I do have one cousin who once told me, <laughs> hi Kiana. Um, yeah, I hope she gets better soon too. I was like, of course she's sick today. But anyway, it's all good. This is, this is hashtag mom life. So, um, hi Lolly. Um, I see Chris Ann. Hello. Okay. So food, most of us love it. I hope you love it. Tell me you love it. Um, I do have a cousin, as I was saying, who once told me, food is just merely fuel to her and we haven't gotten together since then so maybe that's something I don't know um hi Lolly she says hello so um you know it's a source of joy for a lot of us but as parents it can become an exhausting slog and I just I completely get that you know meal times can be hard um I know in our house we've had in addition to the whole like toddler I only want to eat white food situation there's also we've had food allergies to wrestle with which I know a lot of um, folks in this um, community have wrestled with um, and then just lunch packing snacks kind of the list goes on and on so I am really excited today because um, I'm going to sh be showing you a couple of really cool things from this awesome local company called Just Dad Cooking I'm hoping they are going to join on the broadcast live so that if you have questions for them they can answer them directly um if not um drop your questions i will try to answer them or they can always come back and, and comment in later but they're really really cool and i first learned about them a few years ago um and basically they're the way they started is they are um a meal delivery service like there's some others out there i won't say their names but there's some others out there and uh but what i love about them is um i don't know First learning about them and then working with them today, it's just, they just really intersect with my love for cooking and food and also all things local because their jam is like super local. Um, they are sourcing their stuff from New England farmers. They are getting their fish from New England fisheries. It's really, really cool. So um, yeah, and I have a deal for you guys. So stay tuned, I'll share that shortly. So anyway, yes, they are, New England's only local meal kit, which is pretty rad. And I love that everything is pre-measured. If you've done a meal kit service, like raise your hand, or if you've tried just cooking, I'd love to hear it and hear what you thought. Um, but I have found that, um, you know, we do a lot of cooking around here, but we totally get in ruts, especially on busy weeknights. And I found it to be an awesome way to kind of like bust out of mealtime ruts. And, you know, Asha on the Edit Your Life podcast, we've talked about how, um, repeatedly how I'm kind of like not great about meal planning and I really like aspire to the people who are really good at it. But, you know, Asha once told me like some really good advice, which is that um, even if you just have a couple of anchors during your week, you've meal planned. And that made me feel like super, super better. So, <laughs> um, so one of the things that I love is if I, you know, order a box that's like a three meal box, I've got like three meals planned for the week and that's so awesome. So, um, yes. And then the other thing, um, is they deliver within the 495 belt. I'm sorry, my hair is like a little bit crazy and is kind of bugging me today. Um, they serve within the 495 belt, which is pretty awesome. I think they're always looking to expand, but right now, like that's a pretty big radius around the city, which is cool. Um, and they just, the whole thing is really cool. So I'm actually going to show you some stuff and really this is distracting me. I'm really sorry. I'm kind of distracted by my crazy hair. So um, I got a box yesterday and I literally stuck it in my fridge and was like, hands off until after Monday. So <laughs> it's kind of a minor miracle. Nobody's eating stuff. All right. So the, here's the cool thing. I'm going to quickly show you like actually what's in it. And 
I will say very candidly, like prior to this, I'd never un understood like unboxing videos that are like unboxing from something like anybody can go to a store to get. Um, but I think this is actually cool because you can actually see um, like what I'm talking about. So anyway, the cool thing I like is like it starts with a letter. Oh, Kim, thank you. Uh, my hair looks great. Are the ingredients organic? I thought you were asking if my hair is organic. Um, tons of natural and organic stuff that they will, you know, will reference. I'll, I'll shout out some brands too later and I'll tell you about some specifics because it's, it's really, really cool. And then actually there's a second part to their offerings that is awesome. Um, so it starts out with a welcome letter. It actually says, hi, Christine. Love that. Um, and then they will, based on what, uh, I think you can order three, four or five meal boxes for either two people or four. I highly recommend going with four because then you get a um, leftover situation that makes the lunch packing easier the next day. So I'm a huge fan of that. Um, and they'll recommend a cooking order. So this week I decided, I'm, I'm like kind of strategic on the weeks that I order boxes because um, I ordered the Carolyn fish curry and they give a little backstory to each recipe, which is kind of cool. So this is actually an Indian recipe. Um, so I always like trying something fit, like fish oriented because I otherwise don't always get fish at the market myself. Um, I just, and then I also like trying something that I wouldn't normally make at home and, or maybe even order in a restaurant. So I also ordered the bangers and mash. And part of my reason for that too was, I mean, actually, I don't think I've ever ordered that in a restaurant, but I was intrigued because in the backstory, um, this recipe was developed by Josh Smith of New England Charcuterie, Moody's Del Deli and Provisions in Waltham. So how cool is that, right? Um, and then the last one I picked was Sloppy Joe's because uh, you'll see actually if you go to their dashboard and look at their menus, like things will be coded if they're gluten free or family friendly. Um, and I was kind of toggling between this and another recipe, but I actually went with this because I saw a Facebook comment saying that they were the best sloppy joes that somebody had ever had, like if you scroll down to the bottom. So that was pretty cool. So I'm literally opening this box right now. So um, here's the cool thing. First of all, they've been like tweaking their formula to minimize waste. And instead of like freezer packs, because I really don't want any more of those in my life like ever, they send frozen water bottles, so then you can drink it after. How much? I, how do I love that? I'm gonna save this like right here for one thirsty. Okay, so I had mentioned. So what I love, actually, and this is different from when I first tried the service a few years ago. Um, when I first started, when they launched, everything would be in the box and it was all labeled, but you still kind of have to like piece it together. Now they like package up a bunch of your essentials in a little bag. So this is my fish curry. So it comes with that and. You know, the haddock is separately. I think I have, um, hold on one second. This is from Gloucester. So yay, Gloucester. Uh, the bangers and mash that I like, how cute is this? It's like these little boxes. Um, these are in fact, British bangers. That's really, really cool. Um, New England charcuterie, fancy. And then these are the sloppy joes. And it comes, they also, they have all the like the little loose pieces in here, but then the meat comes out. And then also um, it comes with a broccoli slaw. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, there are all these little, there are a few little like loose bits, condiments, sour cream, tomato paste, mayonnaise, yum, butter, hooray, all that sort of good stuff. And then um, one other thing to note is in their, um, Welcome letter, letter, they'll give you some notes about what's going on. Like, oh yeah, Lolly says, oh my God, that's awesome. I do frozen water bottles for the cooler all the time, right? Seriously, I'm so over like freezer packs. I just don't want any more of them. Um, yes, so um, they'll include notes on the food that's in your box. Um, to your question, Kim, um, like this week's box has organic yellow onions from Vermont. Um, mustard seeds from Connecticut, organic russet potatoes from Maine, banger sausage from Waltham, butter from Vermont Creamery. The list goes on. It's pretty awesome. So I definitely, definitely recommend you try it. So actually that's a good time to mention that if you want to give it a try and you are a new customer, you can use the code Boston Mamas. That's Boston and then M-A-M-A-S. I know that can be a little confusing. Um, and you can get $30 off your order, which is pretty cool. So I will, um, I'm gonna 
link up everything I'm talking about in the notes because I also want to give out give a shout out to all the different cool local vendors. So I'll do that in a post and I'll include that code. Um, yeah, so I don't know if anybody from Just Add Cooking is here. If you are, give me a wave, give me a high five. But um, if you have questions for them directly, um, feel free uh, to ask in the comments. I know, Lolly, isn't like a deal, like just so awesome. And actually, I'll, I'll message you separately about something else. But anyway, um, yeah, if you have questions for them, just fire it on in the comments. Oh, hey, Katerina. Okay, so Katerina, she is so awesome. She is part of the Just Dad cooking team. She has little people in the house, you know, like so many of us. Uh, and we just laugh because we have had so many of our phone calls in advance of this live, um, like literally like sitting in the parking lot or like, it's just, it's so mom life. It's so entrepreneurial mom life. It's ridiculous. Anyway, if you have questions about specifics around Just Dad cooking, Kim, if you have any other questions about the organic stuff beyond what I've already mentioned, feel free to ask her. She knows everything. Um, pricing, any of that stuff, she can, she can hook you up. Okay, so now you see the box is great. The meal kits are awesome. I really seriously encourage you to try them. And like, I think people who know me know we cook a ton, um, but we just get in these ruts. So um, it's just such a treat when it's time for a box. And actually the funny thing I have to say, oh yeah, the parking lot business call is totally a classic move. Um, so I have to say that Laurel now has an art class. So the boxes deliver every Sunday. You put your order in by Wednesday, I believe, on the web interface. Um, and it's cool, you can pick your menus and all that stuff. And it delivers on Sunday. Um, and um, on Monday nights this season, Laurel has an art class. And so when I got, a I don't know, like a couple weeks ago when we got our box on Sunday, I actually said the words on Monday the next day, Oh, Laurel, I can't believe I can't cook dinner tonight. Like, because we were going to be out over dinner, which I don't think, I'm not sure if any mom has ever said that ever. I don't think so. All right. So anyway, um, super cool. Give it a try. Um, and meanwhile, and if you are just tuning in and you missed the awesome code that you can use for 30 bucks off, it's just Boston Mamas, just like the handle of this Facebook page. Um, okay. So here is the super okay katarina says yes order cutoff is before 12 p.m on wednesdays so go do that um here's like this is really cool i want to so the the um meal kits have been around for a few years that's awesome but they've recently launched something really cool and i got to help with it so i'm excited about that so they have just launched a marketplace so this is not like a full on grocery store. But if you, and I'll include some screenshots in my blog post on this, but you know, if you go and you pick out your menus and then you scroll down, they have now a group of add-on items that you can just add to your cart, which I find um, it's awesome for many reasons. But one is that if you forget stuff at the grocery store, <laughs> Um, if you want to order meals, but you're kind of like, my little toddler might not, you know, eat, fish curry, what am I going to do? You can totally tag on some stuff for that and I'll share some specific ideas. Um, and yeah, it's just this curated collection that will also make like um, lunch packing and snacking easier. So yay, totally into that. All right, so here's the deal is like, I don't know if you remember, but a couple weeks ago, I asked on Facebook and Twitter and I said, okay guys, what do you need? I'm working with this food company. What do you need to make food easier like lunches sides whatever and got a ton of response i put them in a spreadsheet because that's what i do and discussed it with the just add cooking team and they have added a bunch of those things that you guys need into the marketplace so it's so cool so if you go and um i was super honored to curate a group of like a dozen of my favorite family friendly picks and i want to share some of those with you today um there's literally like cardboard coming out. Okay. So what else did I miss? Oh yeah. So if you look in the marketplace, you'll see if you're looking for my picks, um, it's so adorable and, and legit. You'll see like a little circle with the Boston Mamas logo. It says Boston Mamas picks. So that's how you can like quickly get access to all these things I'm talking about. Um, okay. So, 
Oh, and yes, one other thing I wanted to mention is that um, one of the cool things about this, yeah, Casey says add-ons are my fave. Casey, you're my fave. Um, so one of the cool things, extra cool things about the marketplace is it, it is insanely, insanely focused on local representation. So yay for that, okay? Um, I'm gonna save this for you, Casey. You can, Riley totally, totally can have this. And this giant box, she could like sit in this box. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my picks cause they're pretty cool. And I'll tell you a little bit about why I picked them and where they're from. So let me see, I don't know if I'll have these in order, but okay, they have produce, which is really cool. Um, apples from Carlson Orchards in Harvard, in Harvard which is so great because honestly, snacking apples all the time. And then also I put them on the side of meals too. I feel like uh, if it's produce, it's going in, that's great. So apples, Carlson Orchards, way to be awesome. Okay, I also picked bread. Their bread comes from Pen d'Avignon out of Hyannis, Mass. And bread because Seriously, what kid is not going to eat bread, especially if you add, make it a grilled cheese. So one of my other picks is Grafton Village Cheese, which I love because actually I've been there and my kids ate a million samples from Grafton Cheese in Vermont and they didn't kick us out. So that was really, really epic. Um, yes. Anyway, I love this. I, I, I bought this before, um, but yes, you can put it in a grilled cheese and that will make a great add on dinner if you're making your fish curry and they're like, I want none of that. Okay, also one of the things that I heard from people a lot was um, that a lot of people wanted to make egg sandwiches for breakfast for their kids. Um, and we also do egg sandwiches for lunch. We also do them for dinner. And so it's pretty awesome. They have Pete and Jerry's eggs, which you can select from the add on. Um, Kelly, where were you? Were you at Grafton Cheese? Oh, lucky duck. Okay, so um, I hope you ate a lot of samples. All right, so yes, Pete and Jerry's eggs, they are in New Hampshire. So yay for eggs, that's a big source for us. Um, actually, we are very egg reliant because uh, for many years, Laurel was a vegetarian. Um, so protein, very important. Okay, what else? All right, so to the surprise of no one, sorry vegetarians, um, one of my other picks was bacon because let's be honest, my children love me more when I cook bacon. Um, <laughs> so this bacon is from the North Country Smokehouse in Claremont, New Hampshire. Yes, Lolly. Oh yeah, toss in your breakfast ideas too. Uh, thanks Lolly for kicking that off. She says breakfast burritos with turkey sausage are a staple in our house. I'm coming over to your house. Lolly and Phyllis are excited about bacon. See, seriously? No, I mean, really, my kids actually really do love me more when I make bacon. So, um, yes, add on the bacon. What else do we have in here? Um, oh, yeah. Wait, another water bottle. Yay. Hi, Becky. I see Becky just joined on. Okay. Um, so, I don't know if you saw, if you follow me on Instagram or if you saw on my personal Facebook or Yesterday I shared um, an interview I did with the Just Add Cooking folks um, about like how I manage like chaos, household chaos of all dimensions, relationships, schedule, all these things. Wrap them in foil. Phyllis says my kid will eat just the bacon out of everything. <laughs> Lolly says wrap them in foil for the perfect on the go meal. Okay, breakfast burritos, I'm on it. Um, okay, so sorry. Uh, I love seeing all your comments fly by. It is, it is so boss. So keep dropping them. I love hearing from you. So I'm looking at it right now to my right. Um, okay, I'm distracted again. Casey says, we made egg wraps every morning with spinach, cheese, and eggs. Riley eats them cold for lunch too. She said, Casey says, barf about cold eggs, but I keep that to myself. Good parenting, hashtag parenting win. Kim says, frozen water bottle, bottle idea is brilliant. I'm stealing it, great tip. Yes, seriously, no more freezer packs. Okay, so um, what I was saying is that I think I, I shared earlier that I'm not, I don't consider myself a great meal planner. I just, it's just not one of my strengths. Um, although now I have a renewed perspective, thanks to Asha Dornfest, who told me that even just a few, um, anchors are, are, are solid. 
Hi, Sharon. Sharon is from the very amazing Chop Chop magazine. So she is a food person and her kids, I bet, eat tons of vegetables and are awesome. So um, she's loving the water, the water bottle. So I was, we were talking about menu planning at home, actually, with the kids, which I know sounds super nerdy, but that's just kind of who we are. And Violet made a meal plan uh, that includes Meatball Monday, Taco Tuesday, Wild Card Wednesday, take your pick, Thin Mint Thursday, can you tell we have a Girl Scout in the house? And Friday, French fries. Perhaps not the best balanced meal, but at least it's a plan. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the reason I bring up the, meat, the menu plan is because Meatball Mondays are actually a thing around here, and that is the thing that happens while I'm taking Laurel to the aforementioned art class that John and Violet are in charge of making dinner, which I have to say is awesome. So anyway, one of the things that I am so excited that is in the add-on marketplace is um, a spaghetti and meatballs kit. So literally, meat, yay meat. Um, oh wait, and I can tell you where these things are from because I'm Asian and I made notes. So <laughs> um, meat, this is from Keneally Meats. Um, these beautiful, from Maria's Gourmet Pasta in Malden. Like, learning about indie food purveyors who I've never known before is just my favorite thing. So, yay, Maria's. And then also this delicious looking marinara sauce from Foss Farms in Sandwich. So, high fives. So anyway, yes, you can do spaghetti and meatball kit. In fact, yeah, you could actually if we're talking about meal planning and you order a three person kit, I mean, you could do more, you could do four or five, but if you order a three person kit and then you just order an add on spaghetti and meatball kits, four days, you are done. Okay, Maura asks, wait, who's coming over? I think Phyllis is coming over for Meatball Mondays. Fine, that's great. We can, we can talk about Pachinko, which I just recently finished, which everybody, even if you are not Korean, should read. Okay, Maura says, do you have advice for the kid who is vegetarian and other siblings who are not? I know it sounds snarky, but do I always have to provide him a meatless option? That's a really good question. Um, so, oh good, Casey's coming too. So, okay, so Maura, I will say that we went through a very challenging phase of life where John and I would eat anything. Laurel was a vegetarian and... Um, Vi, we thought, had a gluten and dairy allergy as well as like eight different other fruits. So, so I feel you. I feel, <laughs> I, I do feel you. I think the key there is, um, one, I really believe that as grown-ups we shouldn't give up tasty food that we like to eat. And so actually that's one of the reasons I've been like really into these kits because they're tasty. Um, and then finding just the really easy, like, option for your vegetarian kid. Whether that, I don't know if you were on a minute ago, but this add-on marketplace that I've helped um, Just Add Cook and Curate, you can literally tack on bread, eggs, and cheese, and boom. Actually, if, I, if it were me, I'd make two of them <laughs> at a time and toss one in lunch the next day um, just to make it easy. Um, so that would be my recommendation. I, I, I totally feel you because I used to really be the persuasion and in general, I'm of the persuasion that, you know, our job is not to be a short order cook. So it's not like, oh, you don't like that? Let me make you something else. Oh, you don't like that? Make, let me make you something else. It's really about putting options in front of them. So yeah, I guess I would just say, keep the options simple and even better. I don't know if this is your oldest, um, but get them cooking with you. Uh, that would be like the best thing. And then your son, I assume it's one of your sons, could cook the meal that um, they want while you cook the other stuff. That would be the biggest win in my opinion. Um, let's see, Taco Tuesday, uh, Phyllis says, sometimes my kid doesn't want the meat we make, so I usually cook the meat options separately or have a backup option of rice and seaweed. Gotta love the rice and seaweed, I love that. Um, Yes, and also I think, you know, with some of these add-on items, here there are a couple um, more if your kid eats vegetables. Um, oh, yeah, actually I'm going to mention this next because a ton of people 
when I was crowdsourcing about food ideas, they wanted pre-cut stuff. Um, so who knew there was a place in Wakefield that is like a veggie purveyor, okay? So uh, Phyllis says, I agree with Christine, make my kid choose a meal, she will help prep and cook. Seriously, you guys, it's really the best. Um, Sharon says, yes, my kids loved opening the Just Dad cooking box with me and get it gets them excited to help me cook. Yes, totally. Okay, so on pre-cut, okay? I just have a couple more things to show you. So, yeah, thepickproduce.com. It's in Wakefield. Who knew? Um, okay, hashtag brilliant. Pre-cut sweet potato fries. So I'm assuming you, assuming you just toss these with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Toss them in the oven. Done. Yes. Um... Pre-cut broccoli. You know, I don't even know why cutting vegetables is so annoying and like feels so hard. It's it's the sort of thing that it's actually not hard, but if they're not cut, like I don't, they'll just sit and I won't eat them. Um, but when they're pre-cut, I will eat a ton of them. So, <laughs> hi Nancy, Nancy just joined. Um, okay, yes, so sweet potato fries, broccoli, yay for pre-cut. And then also, this is totally brand new. This is one of my picks. Carrot and celery sticks. And I have to say, oh, and they're already in water to keep them fresh, so that's really good. Um, so really, those could totally be your, you know, dinner time solution. Just like put out a bunch of that and crackers and cheese and call it a day. That's what I would do. Okay, and then, um, so yes, I said those were from Wakefield. Oh, right, and then the last thing I wanted to share, um, and there are more add-on marketplace items that you can go check out. Um, but I just am showing you the ones that have the little like super cute Boston Mamas pick um, logo on them. So a ton of people, um, and I apologize, I'm still really distracted by my flyaway hair, but a bunch of people when I was crowdsourcing about snack options were talking about jerky. Like, like I had never um, seen so much impassioned conversation about turkey but apparently this is a thing so just add cooking got it so they <laughs> um this is from vermont smoke and cure which i love it you know i love all things vermont i actually would like a secret bunker in vermont that's kind of on my life list but um yes so these are from vermont smoke and cure and they have a few flavors they've got i wrote them down where is it they have bacon flavor, so if you don't feel like cooking the bacon, which of course you will, um, yay, Phyllis loves Vermont Smoke and Cure. Yeah, seriously, the jerky. I mean, maybe it's because it's like super salty and good, but like, who cares? Eat a lot of fruit and then you can have your jerky. It's all good. So they have bacon flavored, so yay for bacon. They have barbecue, and then this is a honey mustard turkey stick. So the big question that remains right this second is whether I'm sharing these or whether I'm stowing them away for my own personal consumption. That is the big question. Okay, so yeah, that, you know what? This was the first time I've ever unboxed something and it was actually really, really fun. And now I'm extremely hungry. So yes, okay, so what next? So I think if you have any other questions, hi Jody, Jody just joined and I'm gonna be wrapping up soon, but um, fear not, if you are joining this later, which I actually know a lot of people like to do, they like to come back and wash it at their leisure, which is fine. Um, drop any comments if you have any specific comments for Just Add Cooking or me. Um, I'm happy to offer lots more edit your lifestyle food tips. Um, and uh, yes, they can answer, we'll answer any questions later, so feel free to do that. Um, also, I'm curious if you have other local brands that you love, like local food purveyors, drop them in the comments or tag them and give them some love because the really cool thing is that um, the marketplace at Just Add Cooking is this evolving thing. So they are like, like literally I talked about a bunch of my favorite recommendations like a week ago and they made that stuff happen, which yay for independent like business owners who just make stuff happen. I just love it so much. So yes, so that's, so there's that. Tag any favorite businesses if you have them and then try it, try it, try it, try it. So it's justaddcooking.com. I'll include a link to everything later, but um, if you like to save money, because of course you do, um, and you want $30 off your first order, use the code 
Boston Mamas. It's just like the handle on this Facebook page. And yes, actually, and that's good until April 15th. So um, yeah, so you should get on that. Um, it's really good. And if you want, like if you um, are looking at the menus, do you have any questions and you, you want like a personal like, hey, what should I order? Um, ask me. I'll, I'll be happy to provide a recommendation. <laughs> um, though I will say, as, as I said in the front end of this episode or broadcast, um, I usually like to pick something with fish because I don't tend to shop for fish as much at the grocery store. Um, something that I have never um, tried before or can't, you know, wouldn't necessarily order myself or make myself. So that week that was the bangers and mash. And then, um, you know, hopefully something that everybody will eat, which this week is Sloppy Joe's. Um, but now actually that there's the marketplace, I think I'll just be um, selfish and <laughs> order the menus <laughs> that I think are the most amazing. And then I can just, um, I can just make bacon and my kids will be really happy. So anyway, I hope this was really helpful. And also don't buy any more freezer packs, just use frozen water bottles. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thank you so much for joining and I will recap everything and all the brands that I talked about um, too later and I will see you guys soon, bye.